Hey what's up guys, it's Andre Other here bringing you guys another video and in this video we're going to be making a Travis Scott Astro World type beat. So let's get into it. Alright guys, so we are here in Logic and we just started off this beat with this really simple uh, chord progression. I found this um, synth called String Dreams and I played this really simple chord progression that goes like this. Yeah, very simple. After that, I wanted to find some sort of secondary kind of melody to go to complement that first melody that we just came up with. So I found this harpsichord and I played this really simple um, melody in there. And it just sounds like this. Yeah, very simple. So together, um, both melodies sound like this. So yeah, then we moved on to the drums and I always start my drums off with the claps or the snares. So I found this really cool clap that I liked. So I like the sound of that and then I punched in a really simple pattern and then everything together sounded like this. Yeah, nothing special. But then after that I moved on to the snares and I punched in a really simple um, kind of snare pattern that just add a little bit, it just adds a little bit of bounce to the drums. Again, it's nothing crazy, it's nothing special, it just sounds like this. Yeah, uh, it doesn't sound like anything special as of now, but when you finish all the drums, it adds uh, an important kind of bounce to the drums. Um, then after that, we just came up with this really simple, again, very simple open hat. Um, kind of pattern that I drew in here and it just sounds like this yeah very simple but everything together makes the beat sound um, how you want it to sound it makes the drums have that kind of bounce you know all these things individually don't really seem that significant but when you hear them all together um, it all comes together to make that kind of uh, sound that you're looking for in your drums so after that, I just play this really simple um, close hat kind of melody. It's very simple, it's very basic, but again, it has a lot of bounce to those drums. And I love my close hat, so yeah. So I just played this really simple pattern that sounds like this. Yeah, very simple. I like the sound of those um, close hats. Again, it went with the kind of vibe that I was going for. But then everything together sounded like this. So yeah, so now we're going somewhere. Um, with the close hats, I wanted them to sound a bit more interesting. So I decided to punch in a very simple kind of, um, uh, a very simple kind of pitched, kind of rolled um, close hat pattern that just sounded like this. Again, very simple, but when you, you know, play everything together, it should sound pretty good. And that just adds a bit more character to your close hats. It just makes them more interesting to listen to. So if we listen to everything together, the beat should be sounding like this. Yeah, very simple. And the last part of the drums was the kicks. So I found this really cool kick um, that I really liked. And again, it went with the kind of sound that I was going for. Yeah, really punchy. I really liked it. And again, I played this really simple kick kind of pattern. I didn't want any busy kind of kicks. I wanted to keep it simple because again, it went with the kind of bounce, the kind of groove that I was going for. So yeah, I just played this really simple kick melody that sounds like this. Uh, yeah, very simple, but when you play everything together, it should sound good. But um, yeah, that was pretty much it for the drums. So after that, the beat started sounding like this. So yeah, 
yeah, the beat is starting to come along at this point. So after that, I just wanted to add two more sounds. I wanted to add a bass and another synth. So I then moved on to the bass and I played this really classic um, 70s kind of synth bass that you can find in Alchemy on Logic. And I use it all the time in a lot of my beats. I just played this really simple bass kind of uh, melody that sounds like this. Yeah, and I added some distortion to that bass as well to make it sound a bit more grungy, to add to that kind of sound, that theme that I was going for with this beat. Um, yeah, and then everything together should sound like this. Yeah, and that was almost it. I just added one more sound. And I think this is the most important sound in the beat. I think it gives the beat that kind of haunting kind of effect that I was going for. And that's the vibe I was kind of going for this beat. And that's the vibe that you normally hear on Travis Scott's beats, especially the beats on Astroworld. They have that kind of airy, haunting kind of vibe to it. So I came up with this, I found this really simple synth called um, uh, Exotic Metals. And um, I played the same melody that I played with the um, initial melody that we came up with when we started making the beat. And it just sounds like this. So I just played the same melody. And it sounds like this. Yeah, so I think that sounds really sick. It just adds that haunting, kind of scary uh, theme that I was going for with this beat. Yeah, and the thing is about this um, synth is that um, it kind of evolves over time. So every two to four bars, um, the melody that you play kind of gets altered in a way and it just adds a different dynamic to the beat uh, that I really like. So everything together should sound like this. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That is every component um, that was to this Travis Scott Astro World kind of beat. Um, that's the whole process that went into making it. Obviously after this, we had to uh, structure the beat. So we had to come up with the intro, the verse section, the chorus section, the outro section and stuff like that to make it a full length kind of beat. Um, but yeah, that's the only thing we had to do after um, we came up with all those different um, components of the beat. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys learned something. If you liked the video, though, please click the like button down below. And please subscribe for more because I have videos like this coming out every week. And um, yeah, if you guys want to purchase any beats, including the beat used in this video, please click the link in the description down below. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram for all the latest updates. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.